Hey guys, Hunter Elliott here, rainshot.com. Check it out. I've got the Charter Arms. This is the Boomer. This is a kind of a newer gun from Charter Arms. It's based on the Bulldog. But as you'll notice, it's in a black nitride finish. There is no front sight and it is ported. Hang on just a second. I know everybody right now is probably looking at the computer screen going, there's no front sight. How? Just trust me. When I get to the wrap up, we're going to go through all that. But for right now, what I want to do is, this is a revolver, so I've already had it out. I've got about 50 rounds through it. It's proven to be reliable. I mean, it's a daggum revolver. But still, I want y'all to see the gun, how it operates. Now, the fact that it is ported, if you remember, I don't know, it was almost probably two years ago, I reviewed the Bulldog. And uh, great shooting little revolver. I wound up buying a test sample. I've kept it. Um, but in 44 Special, it's a little snappy with these ports. Believe it or not, it makes a pretty big difference. So uh, what I want you to do is just take a look at the gun running and then we'll talk about everything afterwards. So uh, as you can see, it's still a handful, but uh, it's not as bad as the original Bulldog without ported. Understand this little bitty small, this is like a belly gun. Here I am at the end of the Charter Arms Boomer review. As you saw, the Boomer is the five shot 44 special snub nose revolver. And uh, those will notice that it does not have a front sight and it is ported. So um, I've actually got just shy of 100 rounds through this. Most all of it was just some uh, 240 grain lead round nose flat point and Hornaday critical defense. And uh, of course, revolvers generally are pretty reliable didn't have any trouble or issues or whatever so uh, the one thing that I need to mention right off about this particular revolver though it doesn't have a front sight it still has this trough area on the top strap but this is not a point of aim port of impact this is more of a six o'clock hold and it's actually I'm at about uh, 30 feet and uh, at about 30 feet it's probably shooting about maybe 10 inches low if you were to aim point on now understand this is a what my father would call a get the hell off me gun this is this is good for you know zero to 25 feet at the most something that you could pocket carry pretty easily so I'm gonna I'm gonna try I got some targets set up I do want you to see where I'm shooting versus where I'm printing so uh, you definitely anytime you shoot this you definitely want ears in so uh, here we go this is five rounds Okay, so you saw that group. Here I am, like I said, about 35 feet. But you saw I had two pieces of eight and a half by 11 paper stacked on top of each other. I was actually aiming at the center of the bottom of that piece of paper. So this is certainly not what I would consider a bullseye gun, <laughs> but it is exactly suited to do what it was designed to do. So it is a heavy double action only pull, which acts as the safety, not counting the safety that you've got between your ears. 44 Special, it's got a little bit of UV to it, especially some of the defensive rounds. So this is a pretty light little revolver. So you would certainly appreciate this porting when, when shooting some heavy self-defense rounds. The one thing you got to keep in mind though with porting, if you ever do have to deploy this revolver in a retention manner, like, you know, from here, you need to be aware of those ports because you're going to get a little bit of heat on your face. Trust me, the reason I know this is because I've done it. So... If using this as a defensive revolver and you've got to shoot from retention, my suggestion would be you want to cock this thing way away from you. Still, this would be good for, you know, somebody zero to five feet away. 
but for what the little revolver was designed to do it does very well now this is charter arms this new black nitrite finish and uh, it is actually held up really well even after almost 100 rounds Okay, Roger, what did you think about the uh, Boomer? Well, the front sight took a little getting used to. You yep. know, you're looking for it, you're, you're throwing your rounds high. Um, when you start looking down the trench, I mean, I see what they're going for. But it's certainly no precision. I, I don't think it was meant to be. I think it was meant to be more of a belly gun. I'll say one thing about the porting, though. The porting definitely controlled the muzzle. For if you were to choose that for your defensive gun, you would want to make sure you put enough rounds down range so you understand your different sight picture. Oh, I, absolutely. I think this gun. I think you would have to definitely put the range working on this gun to understand it's a totally atypical sight pitch. Out of the clip. Exactly. Well, you know, the thing know. is, too, with that, it being a double action only. About a heavy 12 pound pull. Yeah, uh, the, the, it wasn't bad. It wasn't. Well, cool. Well, Roger, I appreciate you coming out here, taking no your problem. time Thanks away from inviting us. PC shooting <laughs> and helping me out with the uh, review. If you are considering carrying a snubby little revolver, um, when you lose all that barrel length, you're going to lose a lot of velocity. So it makes sense that if you're going to lose the velocity the only area you can really make it up in is bullet weight so i would always pick something a big slow heavy bullet like the 44 special over something like a 357 magnum that's going to excel really well you know in a six inch barrel or even an eight there's a pretty interesting story about how this little revolver got the name boomer which is going to be featured in the article on rangehot.com so if you're curious about that or any of the more technical specifications just go to rangehot.com read the full written review and uh, you'll give you a pretty good idea as far as where we're at with that so anyway guys that's about it so far so good take care of yourself and each other and i look forward to seeing you at the range